Hey everyone, Innovative Finance ISAs. What exactly are they and how can they help you earn interest? That's what we'll be talking about today. So without further ado, I'm Kozan from Financial Banders, helping you be better with your money. Launched in April 2016, the Innovative Finance ISA, or IF ISA for short, is an ISA that allows you and others to lend money to other individuals and businesses. This is a process commonly known as peer-to-peer -peer lending. So this is very different to if you were holding your money as cash like you would with a cash ISA, invest in the stock market like you would with a stocks and shares ISA, or hold your money as cash or investments but save it for your first house or your retirement retirement like the Lifetime ISA. If you want to learn more about those types of ISAs, I have done videos of them in the past and I'll put links in the description box down below. So like I said, the IF ISA is an ISA account that allows you to lend your money to other individuals or businesses. Now the reward that you get from doing this is that you will receive interest as the borrower repays the loan, plus you will get your money back once the loan has been fully repaid. And the benefits to the borrower is that this is another source of funding. So in case perhaps maybe they couldn't get money from the bank or they couldn't get as much money from the bank, this is another way that they can finance whatever they are doing. Now, because banks are cut out from this process, by investing your money into peer-to-peer -peer lending, you usually receive higher amounts of interest than if you were to leave your cash sitting in a regular savings account. And because you're getting this interest through an ISA, which of course is a tax-free wrapper, you'll never have to worry about paying any taxes on any interests earned. Please note that the IF ISA is part of the large ISA family, so any money that you do contribute to your IF ISA does contribute to your annual tax year allowance of £20,000 that you're allowed to put into any ISA account. So now I've explained how it all works, let's assess some of the risks involved with investing in an IF ISA. So number one, because peer-to-peer -peer lending works just like a loan, that means there's a chance that the borrower may not be able to make all of their repayments to that loan, or even worse, they may even default on the loan, and therefore you will not get your money back nor will you get any interest earned as well. Number two is that innovative finance ISAs are not protected by the financial services compensation scheme, which could see your money being completely lost if the peer-to-peer -peer lending platform goes bust. So for those that don't know, services protected by the FSCS, such as banks and large investment platforms, see that if that company in question were to go bust, you are guaranteed to see all of your money returned to you safely up to 85,000 pounds. If you put away more than 85,000, there is a chance you can see it back. However, it is not guaranteed. So because the Innovative Finance ISA is not protected by the FSCS, you do not have such guarantees. So that is another risk that we need to consider. Nevertheless, it is important to point out that even though they aren't protected, they are still heavily regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority or the FCA, which means a lot of these peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms do have contingency funds in place in case they do run into financial difficulty so that they can pay off some or if not all of the costs to those lenders. This moves on to another point that I want to highlight that if you do want to invest in an IF ISA, please make sure that that provider is regulated by the FCA. And I'll put a link in the description box on how you can find that out. And third and finally, you do not have immediate access to the cash if you want to withdraw from an IF ISA. If you do want to withdraw, there will be a significant time lag from when you request the withdrawal to when you actually get the money. So it is still worth having some of your money put away into an easy access saving account if you do need some immediate access to some cash. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe with notification bell on. I release a video every single Monday talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. A recent article from Forbes shows that the typical interest rate that you can expect to return from peer-to-peer -peer lending is between 2 to 6%. Higher interest rates are of course still available, however that does usually come with a higher amount of risk. So comparing this 2 to 6% to if we were to hold that money instead as cash within a savings account, as we are currently experiencing all-time low interest rates, you're rarely going to find any savings account that will beat at least 1%. I've looked on the market at the moment, I think the average is around about 0.6%, 0.5%, that's the kind of area and that doesn't even beat the inflation rate which typically averages around 2%. 
percent so if you were to hold your money within a savings account it will just lose value over time now comparing to if we decided to invest that money in the stock market through a low-cost index fund for example we can typically expect to see an average rate of return of about eight percent if we invested our money for the long term so as you can see peer-to-peer -peer lending kind of sits in between investing your money in the stock market and holding your money as cash which are the two common ways of how people tend to try and grow their wealth so to be eligible for the if isa like with most other isa products you do have to be a uk resident taxpayer and you have to be 18 years or over and when you do sign up you'll probably have to provide evidence of your national insurance number and proof of residency once you have applied it is worth knowing that you do actually have a 14 day calling off period just in case you change your mind and you instead want to close off your if isa account you can do that within the 14 days of opening it this is actually a rule required by the financial conduct authority which is why i said earlier whenever you do open up an if isa account make sure the provider is authorized by the fca and finally once your account is all set up and ready to go you do have the option to select what kind of expected return you would like to see obviously the general rule of thumb is that the higher level of expected return that you would like to see usually comes with higher risk so do take that into account and you even have the option to spread your risk by lending your money to several different borrowers you can actually lend to up to a hundred to even thousands of different borrowers if you choose and of course the benefit of you doing that is that you're not putting all of your eggs in one basket you're not relying on that one borrower to not default on that loan you're diversifying it across several other businesses or individuals cool so that is it for this week's episode let me know in the comment section down below if you have an if isa account and if you don't let me know why as well i personally don't have one either and that is because i've already got some investments within the stock market for my long-term wealth and i also have some money aside for some short-term costs like my emergency fund so i don't really see much of a place for peer-to-peer -peer lending but let me know what your thoughts are and as always if you found this video really useful i would really appreciate if you give this a massive thumbs up that does wonders for the youtube algorithm and the growth of my channel and as always i release a video every single monday so if you want to keep up to date with those hit the subscribe button as well see you later